hello guys welcome to another android studio tutorial today we are going to learn about web view so here i'm going to create an android application that demonstrates how to place a web view in your android application for display a web page so here i'm going to start a new android studio project specify the application name here i name it as web view demo Select an MD activity and click finish. Okay, now here the project is created. Wait for the build to finish. Okay, now the project build finishes and here is the layout. So first we can create the layout for the application. So this text view is no longer needed. So here the root element is a constrained layout. So first here I'm going to change the root element into a linear layout. Of course we have to specify orientation for the linear layout. Here I specify the orientation as vertical. So here I'm going to place the web view on a fragment. So first here I'm going to create a button, specify with as much parent height into not content now specify margin for the button layout margin into 55 dp now specify text for the button and we text uh, lot google.com okay now specify an on click method for the button I name it as load web page so when user click the button uh, we have to display a fragment with a web view so for the fragment here I'm going to create a layout linear layout specify width as much parent height also much parent specify an ID for the layout here I specify the ID as fragment container fragment container okay so we are going to display the fragment using this relative layout so now I'm going to create a fragment so first here I'm going to create the layout for the fragment so create a new layout specify the layout file name as web view fragment layout so now I'm going to place a web view within this layout so here I place a web view specify the width into much parent height also much parent now specify an ID for the web view I name it as web view okay so now we need to create a class for the fragment before going to do that here inside main activity create some variables private static final string uh, web url it is google.com Uh, this is the url that we are going to display on the web view okay now we need a class for the fragment so create a new java class i name it as web view fragment and this class extends fragment so now here i'm going to overwrite one of the life cycle method of fragment uh, it is on create view okay so first here create some variables for view class use this parameter layout inflator so inflator dot inflate specify the layout 
uh, it is web view fragment layout now specify the view group here it is container and there is one more argument is a boolean value okay and finally we have to return that view from this method return view so we place the web view within this fragment so create some variables for web view uh, it is private variable private web view i name it as web view now we can initialize the web view here first typecast are going to web view now find it view dot find the view by id <clears throat> okay now we get the web view from the layout now we can load the url so before going to do that uh, web view dot set set the web view client you have to set the web view client for opening a web page on the web view otherwise the default browser will open so here we have to pass a instance of web view client class okay now we can load the url so web view dot uh, there is a method called the load url I think that variable is private in main activity it is not private we need that one inside the fragment it's a public so main activity dot one okay so here uh, we create an instance of web view and we connect it to the layout and we set the web view client and finally we load the url to the web view okay now we can inflate this fragment so go to main activity dot java so go to the layout so here is the on click method for the button we have to implement this method inside main activity dot java so create this method inside main activity from here we can inflate the fragment so for that first we can create an object of the fragment here it is web view fragment now we can inflate the fragment so get supported fragment manager uh, begin transaction specify the container for the fragment r dot id dot it is fragment container now specify the fragment object here it is uh, web view fragment and finally commit it that's it okay so here we display some web page so we need to add the internet permission so open manifest.xml and specify the internet permission uh, users permission internet okay now the application development is finishes now we can test it so run the application select a virtual device and now here the application available on this virtual device now i'm going to load google.com inside the fragment and here is the web page so this is a fragment that contain the web view and we load a web page on that web view so this is how we integrate a web view to the android application i hope you understand all these concepts if you like this video please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode